Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, and that means market outlook time, right? We're gonna take a look at the market for this week at a high level and kind of look through all the stuff that we could see coming this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. It is Christmas, boys. It is Christmas week. Merry Christmas to you guys if you celebrate, uh, and uh, happy holidays to all, and happy new year as well. I mean, we're kind of getting close to that time frame as well. Um, but I wanna talk about the stuff that we could see this week on FIFA Ultimate Team with the foot miss promo kind of coming to an end uh, in the middle of this week and icon swaps coming at the end of this week. Will we see another promo on Friday or will we kind of be in like a break period before team of the year? I'm really curious to see what happens with that. I don't really have any, any like insider information or leaks or anything like that. I don't get a lot of those um, except for these foot miss SBCs. Uh, it seems like it's leaked every day almost, but we're going to talk about Footmas SBC's market movements and other content that we could be seeing this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. First off, I want to talk about the SBCs that we got on Sunday. Uh, we got a couple SBCs today, which are, dude, this Footmas promo from uh, the start to the end, it's been like rising the entire time in terms of good card value and the upgrades we have got on these cards. Like the first couple days were just average, right? Then we got De Gea, we got Sissoko, we've gotten Mendy, we've gotten some really good value and some nice upgrades for these SBCs. Furlan Mendy and uh, Davinson Sanchez both came today. Davinson Sanchez is a great value card. I did him, he's in my team. I did Sissoko. I've also done De Gea. I've done like the last three days, I've done a footmas SBC almost every day because the, the content's been killing it. Thank you, EA Sports, for actually delivering delivering during Footmas. I appreciate it. It's been fun. I mean, these upgrades are insane as well over the, the base cards or the, the last inform that a lot of these guys have gotten. Uh, and that just, I think that's going to continue into the next few days as we round out the Footmas promo. We have two days left of Footmas. We have today on Monday and then the 23rd and then the 24th Tuesday. We'll be getting two more sets of two SBCs of Footmas players. And then we do have one more objective player left to be our sixth and final objective player. And my hunch is that that objective player is going to be Gabriel Jesus. I do believe that, that Jesus is going to be coming. And it's kind of funny, right? Because they're naming these um, objectives based on like actual Christmas stuff, like uh, Delph, right? Like Elf for Delph. And then we have uh, Santi Cazorla for like Santa Claus. And then Jesus, you know, it's, it's funny. It's really kind of interesting. EA is kind of doing like a, a play on words for a lot of these cards. I do expect uh, Jesus to come. I don't know um, why he hasn't come yet, but I guess they're just waiting until the end of the promo to put him out. But for these last couple days, um, we should be getting some SBCs from these leagues right here. Obviously, you have two days left. So today we'll get an SBC on somebody from Liverpool, Atletico Madrid, Dortmund, Lille, or Napoli. My hunch is that it could be Herving Lozano today. Um, and also, I'm not sure what nationality with, that we are getting today or tomorrow, to be honest with you. But uh, I think Mexico actually is one of like the 11th ranked, maybe. Uh, so we might get Lozano from, for the Mexican nationality SBC. And then I've also heard, uh, some rumors about possibly Xiao Felix coming for tomorrow's SBCs or excuse me today. And then for tomorrow, we'll either get a Man City, Barcelona, Bayern, Paris, or Juventus. And the word on the street is that we're getting a Vidal footmas SBC. So just kind of throwing out some things that I know about that. It's probably on Twitter. So it's no secret that people have leaks. Uh, for this promo, uh, but those are the SBCs that we could see this week. And again, I've been talking to you guys a lot about the high rated golds, man, because these cards fluctuate so stinking much based on the SBCs. David Silva is 31k. David Silva is 31k. Is that that's kind of it's got to be a little bit lower, right? How much was he today, man? He was 37k, 38k, dropped down to 29, went to 38, and he's down to 30. This is insane, man. This is literally insane. These high-rated golds fluctuate so freaking much in price. Last night, I bought PKs for 32,000 coins, and I've sold like 20 of them today for 38 to 37 to 38,000 coins because I thought Furlan Mendy was coming, and he was. I talked to you guys about getting some 84, some good nations and good leagues yesterday. Boom, we were looking at Brand at like 4.5k, he's at 6k. Same with Lieva, same with Ozil and Fakir. Like, I bought Moutinho's last night for 4.2k, he's up, I sold some at 7k today. So, these cards are going to fluctuate a lot, right? And I, and I just showed you um, with the, let's go look at a market index really quick. 
Market index 86. Let's look at this. Let's look at the market index 86. This happens almost every single day, right? So we have the low 86s, boom. The SBC comes out today, Freeland Mendy, boom. It jumps up, up to 177, index 86. So all the prices of 86 went up sky high. They have since gone down. They hit a rock bottom of 130, and they're still kind of low from what they were earlier today. Now, again, uh, the fluctuation with this is maybe tomorrow morning people wake up and do the SBC again. If we look at David Silva, we just look at David Silva, and that was a great example. Let me show you what happened on David Silva today, right? So we look at the hourly graph. Saturday, he was 26K. Sissoko came out. Boom. He goes to 39, back down to 35. What happens this morning? He was 35K, 34K. So I mean, you could probably get him for like 32 or 33 on bid. Right before the SBC expires, people panic and they want to go do it. He's back at 38K before going back into packs again. He's not needed as much for the SBC, but then he starts getting his solutions. Pops up to 38, which is kind of crazy, but he's kind of back down to 31. So it just kind of, they fluctuate day by day, right? So the next time we could get a high rated SBC that would be 86 rated, Maybe this guy goes back up to 38K, right? Like, especially for these for the SBCs, they've been requiring a lot of stuff based on the league. And we've gotten a lot of uh, Premier League SBCs in the last day or two. And that's why I bought PK today, because I knew that we probably needed somebody from La Liga. There was a La Liga player required for this SBC, and there was a Real Madrid player re required from for this one on Ferland Mendy. So you saw some of those Real Madrid players really go up today. Um, but this is the type of fluctuations that you could look for on some of these cards. Uh, now, a lot of the cards are really, really high right now. We're talking high rated. So again, we'll go back to Footbin. A lot of these cards are really, really high. 86s or 20K. Some of, some of them have dipped back down. 85s, like 13K is crazy. 6K for the 84s. A lot of these cards are like pretty high at the moment, especially in the 84 to 87 range, 86s. Um, so I'd be kind of careful with this. Maybe they do one kind of like off day of Footmas. Or maybe they're just going to keep rolling out all the big boys uh, for the content and the SBCs. But if you see any cards that it went up big time for an SBC, like we just looked at David Silva, who was at 38K, and then went down to 34 overnight and then returned back to 38K before the Sissoko SBC required or expired, that could be something to look at. Courtois today, let's look at Courtois actually, 31K, he's required for the Furland Mendy SBC. What did he do today? He was 38K. And he's actually dropped, which is crazy. Okay. Not as many people did needed Courtois for their SBCs. Interesting. Uh, where's another Real Madrid player? Did Cruz go up? Cruz is at 33K. Maybe he's just a little bit too high rated. Oh, Benzema might be the one. Benzema might be the one. You needed some 86 squads today. Benzema's 27,000 coins. Let's look at his price today. 23, 24K. He peaked at 29. Went down to 25 back to 29 and then to 27 so like if i saw this guy get back down to like 25 or 24k i could maybe snag some bids at 23 overnight tonight it doesn't look very likely but let me check this would be the type of fluctuation that i would be interested in uh as we head into another day of footmas sbcs and that's literally how you can kind of trade with these cards during footmas right so he's actually 27,000 coins 27k at the moment According to Footbin, and actually it was accurate in game as well. So let's see if there's any bids out there. What's he going for on bid? 25k with 46 seconds left. No bid. All right, we'll add those and see what happens with those. But this is the kind of stuff that you could do, right? Because people wake up and they want to complete the SBC. They've thought about it. They've went and watched a player review. Somebody said that card is good. It's a huge upgrade, and they actually go and do the SBC. So that's kind of one thing that I want to see, uh, show you guys is probably going to happen over the last two days of Footmas. Is you're going to see fluctuations just like that. And again, as the Footmas SBCs expire, or as the Footmas SBCs come out, right? Like today we saw a hit on some of the left back cards in the game, especially left backs that are French. Center backs went down a lot today because of this Dawinson Sanchez being cheap and affordable. Like Dawinson's card today, coming at like 70K for the SBC, really dropped this card. And a lot of people were going to were had this card in mind Looking for a possible panic sell on uh, a Premier League center back special card. 238K. This guy was like 270, 280 yesterday. Um, and we saw drops with the Al or with the De Gea SBC, right? So I have some Allisons on my transfer list. This guy was down to 80K, dudes. He was at 80K. What is he now? I think he's like 95. Basically, there's a lot of panic selling when a card comes out for an SBC 
uh, that undercuts another popular card in the game. So the substitute items, basically. And we've been talking about this a lot over the past few days. But I just wanted to show you guys that when those cards get panic sold, if they're meta, if they're usable, if they have good links and people like to use them in, the, in this game, they rebound, right? So Allison is like 93, 94K. That one got bought at 92 or, or at 90. So this guy's rebounded 10,000 coins two days after the De Gea SBC came out, right? So if you do see panic selling and it's a meta card that people want to use, especially an out of packs in form or special card like that team of your nominee, there is a high chance of rebound for cards like that. And of course, the linking, uh, Yoris was a panic sold card because of the De Gea SBC again. He went down to like 140,000 coins, but he went up it went up like 10 to 15K today, escaping that rebound, and then also being a direct link to the new Dominson Sanchez SBC. So watch out for those types of market movements. Again, if we get somebody like Chucky Lozano, I have an Allen that I bought today because Allen got low in the middle of the day today, like 275, I think. So if uh, Chucky Lozano does actually come out, this might be a, a link investment to Chucky Lozano that you see go up, right? 281 for Allen, which is still decently low. He was over three. Oop, that's actually a decent undercut right there. Is he almost back to 300? That's almost like a 10K undercut-ish. I'm not going to buy it because I already have one. Um, and I don't really know if Lozano is coming to be sure, but if that, that could easily go over 320, 330K tomorrow because people would love to link an OP popular card to a Lozano. So again, look at the link investments to these next couple days of footmas cards for market movements and possible ways to make coins. And then also buying the panic from these cards. When would the panic sold cards from Monday and Tuesday rise back up in price? Probably Thursday after rewards. I'm thinking this Thursday's rewards period could be a really, really solid one as people put these new footmas cards in their teams. As you see me do right here, I've got a couple footmas cards that I'm trying to incorporate in my squads. I've got a tall on the bench. I've got Dobinson now on my team. I've got Sissoko. By the way, don't hate my team. It's just a cheap-ish squad, right? I changed it up a little bit. Uh, we packed this from an 80 plus pack, which was nice. Um, I've changed up the team a little bit, but not much. This is kind of what we're rolling with at the moment. Cheap squad, that's how I like to roll. Um, but there's gonna be a lot of link investments and of those panic sold items that were down because of footmas SBCs and substitute goods that will rise up, I think, this weekend. Uh, and of course, those link investments to the new footmas cards because this weekend's uh, weekend league, people are gonna have time to play this weekend, boys. It's over the Christmas holiday, right? Uh, we're coming out of a weekend where we had weekend league on a Monday. So we're talking, again, I should probably mention this. You might see a little bit of the card prices on Monday staying a little bit lower because maybe people are taking that extra time to finish their current weekend league situation. Uh, since it got extended, the first one of FIFA 20. Uh, but dude, later in the week, I'm really thinking, boys, that we see these cards go up in price after Thursday rewards. Thursday flipping should be really good this week um, because of the fact that a lot of people are going to be building teams again, playing weekend league with a time that they have. Uh, they'll probably be grinding some icon swaps as well. And that's the next thing I want to talk about is icon swaps. Uh, the holiday season of icon swaps is coming this week. EA tweeted it out, and I can't find the tweet for some reason, but EA tweeted it out that we are getting icon swaps on the 26th. So that is Thursday, I believe, right? Yeah, Thursday the 26th. Yeah, Thursday. Uh, we'll be getting a new set of icon swaps, which supposedly is only going to require for the top card six tokens. Uh, but that makes me think they're going to be pretty hard to get if there's 20 days left in the season, right? How many... There's 18 days left in this season, the holiday season, uh, and there are only six icon tokens. Is that correct? I'm not entirely sure, but icon swaps will be coming out on Thursday. I don't think that really impacts the market that much. If anything is impacted on the market, maybe you see a little bit of panic on some of the icons that get included into these swaps. Like, let's say they put in um, Butragueno into swaps, right? Maybe not the prime version, but let's say they throw Butragueno into swaps and they put his, uh, they already had Butragueno in swaps. It can't be him. Uh, let's go with, um, let's say they put um, Rivaldo. Dang it, he was in swaps already too. That's a, I'm choking on these examples. Uh, Rush, he hasn't been in swaps yet. Let's say they put Prime Ian Rush as one of the top choices in Icon Swaps. Maybe not a card that a lot of people would go after, but a card people would want to try, right? And if it costs you six swaps, would people do it? Maybe. Uh, but if you see any panic selling on any of the icons that get into icon swaps, like we're talking a considerable amount, like this guy's right around a million. 
if you saw him like dip down 200k uh, right away first first day when the icon swaps are released, I would say that's crazy and maybe pick up on some of that panic selling. Just be monitoring what happens to the icons that get released into icon swaps because people won't be able to attain those right away. And if somebody panic sells, there's gonna be somebody else who maybe sees the price drop, be like, yo, I wanna try that card out in the meantime while they're trying to grind to that card. So at least when the icon swaps come out, look for a little bit of panic on those cards. But I think for most of the week this week, um, you might see some of the prices rising on this game, boys. I'm honestly thinking that is possible. We're headed out of the Footmas promo. I know we are headed into Team of the Year, which is coming soon, but I'm not too afraid of really the market like really going down just yet. I feel like we're gonna come out of this promo. There's new people on the game. Uh, there's some coins in the market now after the lightning rounds for, for uh, the new Prime Icons being in the game. So there's, there's a few new coins on the game from all the lightning rounds that came out. Um, but yeah, I feel like the, the team of the year focus hasn't been really pushed too much yet. I'm sure that we'll start to see stuff about team of the year in the coming days. Uh, one thing that I might expect this week, we got a lot of the Europa League live cards, SBCs this week, right? So we had, um, I did the Diego Carlos. We have this old firm debate player pick between Kent and between Forrest, which a lot of you guys did. Uh, we've got Balassi, we've got Gedson Fernandez. I would not be surprised if we saw two or three of the of UCL live. We're talking Champions League road to the final items. I would not be surprised if we had some of those SBCs come out towards the end of the Footmas promo and this next week because they put out Europa League live ones. I feel like there's got to be some Champions League live ones that they're going to put out as well. So after the Footmas promo is over on Weekend League Rewards Day Thursday, if you start to see the high rated cards go back down again to a pretty low level because there's not that many SBCs out after Footmas ends, there's not a ton of SBCs that are gonna be out uh, to do besides some Player of the Months. And these guys are gonna be expiring decently soon They were, and they were, they're really cheap anyway. So once you see some of these SBCs start to go away, maybe by the time uh, Thursday hits, if there's not any Champions League SBCs yet, Maybe you watch those cards drop some of the high rated and do a club stock and um, possibly get ready for maybe some Champions League road to the final SBCs. I feel like those have to come. If we got Europa League ones, I feel like we should be getting uh, Champions League ones as well. So again, boys, that's kind of how I see this week on the market, right? A lot of market movements the first couple days of the week, maybe an SBC or two over Christmas. Um, possibly like a Merry Christmas SBC. I don't know if EA is going to have anything special up their sleeve for Christmas, if they'll drop anything. Um, I'm sure they won't be on in the office, but I'm sure they have something coded to come out on that day. I would hope so at least. We'll see what happens uh, on the actual day of Christmas. Possibly like Team of the Week upgrade SBC. I don't know about that. Um, since it, that hasn't come yet, I don't know if that would be possible now. I don't see why they would put that out, but I don't know if that's a Merry Christmas or not. We'll see. Um, but maybe a little bit of content on Christmas. And then again, through the end of this week, the content looks not really guaranteed, right? I wouldn't imagine another promo on Friday. I really don't see another one coming. So um, maybe a little bit of space for the market to breathe a little bit and possibly to go up before we head into the team of the year hype. So um, you might see some decent week and week flipping action happen this week. If you enjoyed the video, boys, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.